hi guys and welcome to another video so in this video we're gonna start talking about how to get started with uh, with github copilot we're gonna create a project actually we're gonna create a file we have a file here and i'm gonna start writing some code and expect uh, that the github copilot will complete the code so let's create um a by writing comment create a class for a student and let's see what it can do yeah we yeah we 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 did start to get something this let me see it does take a while i think it does take some yeah we, we okay we did got a lot of very complex class i i don't i'm not interested in this okay so let's see let's create a class for okay this one seems fine let's see create a class for an animal okay create a class for a dog named Fido. Class dog it takes it takes quite a okay we got to see okay it's pretty interesting <laughs> yeah it did create a a class dog which is funny let's say create a class for a person class person object okay yeah it seems reasonable name h get name get age such age and there is the str operator let's say something more complex create a class for a gui using kiwi which is okay from kiwi.app okay let's see if it can go ahead and this here is some error i don't think this should exist class git app okay seems reasonable okay seems very reasonable i th i think that okay maybe we should write some code in, in and make it complete so I'm going to write some functions. I'm going to write the commentary for function and the definition. Okay. Um, create a function named uh, Zoom uh, receives, receives a, two numbers and returns the sum. Let's see. Sum. Okay. A B return A B okay okay that's 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 right and if you start death metmu and let's see yeah I can see that it starts with um I'm I'm, I'm gonna test this out death metmu Okay, let's see if it can. Let's run this. I want to see if it can be. Okay. Okay. It does work, as you guys can see. We did multiply these two matrices and created a new one. So this metmo function does, does actually work. Let's see something more uh, related to deep learning. Let's say uh, res block which is a residual block for a deep learning model. Okay, we, I see that it has a bias towards TensorFlow, probably because it's more used. Um, Keras residual block. Okay, and I'm going to delete this. I want to see if, if it can change the 
let's see yeah it did it did change the the how do I say this the syntax to fit the Keras API so we can see layers this is at least I think it can work using tensorflow so layers it's just a wrapper to that layer okay interesting and we also see uh the entire arguments thing thing going on um let's try um cares uh create a uh sequence to sequence sequence model using convo convolutional and LCM cells let's see this could be some a curious example okay I see this okay okay interesting okay it did got kind of lost yeah it's lost I think it only you only gets the URLs to those examples though but it's very interesting to know that this this uh, model has access to such a huge library so create a single system models using evolution and networks. okay let's let's just leave it on this encoder decoder network and lcm model okay let's see import nested packages port numpy port panda tensorflow current backend okay let's see matplotlib port os import regular expressions port time port nltk port gc syntax path text free text okay i see that it, this is a um this is a artifact that it, it's added text okay so here's it's outputting gibberish so we cannot basically create a project from the get-go but if we, we have to create uh layers individual i think it would work really good let's see if we can create like say dev attention i want to see how it will complete this code oh, okay attention it's in html um let's command um computes the attention 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 score score between two images okay let's see this now let's see how we do complete this code uh okay interesting i so it just multiplying the two minutes this is a addictive attention Mm, let's see can put the soft attention soft attention product uh number okay and let's let it complete this code z x y z dimension and okay Hmm, interesting. I do think that this is this code is correct though. So we could write uh, an intention uh, class. Let, let, let me see if I can if I can do it, um from okay import TensorFlow first. Import TensorFlow TensorFlow STF and from Keras dot uh layers uh, from tensorflow the carry that layers from tensorflow 
dot care dot layers import and we're gonna see a bunch of layers i think <laughs> all layers okay it's, it's clever though <laughs> it's way clever to import all the layers okay sequential uh so it has a bias towards a convolution and air network i see and with the shape 28 128 by 128 Okay, seems. Let's see if, can, if if it's gonna complete the entire code. It seems to be on a. Okay, uh, let's see. It did go through a flatten layer. And that puts gonna be ten. Okay, I think it's gonna use. Okay, it's oh my god! So okay, very interesting. So it did it did write the entire model. From start to finish, as you guys can see. So I could use, um, I think, a CFR. The CFR. Uh, let Let's import CFR from TensorFlow. Dot Keras. Dot datasets. Datasets import. CFR. Ten. Okay. CFR ten. Load data, okay. So you guys can see it it does exactly what I think it would do. So this is just an artifact. But I think it should it need normalized data, which I, I would expect. And done. <laughs> We're done, guys. Wow, that's interesting. Oh my gosh. It's so interesting. I've done this a million times. Okay, we already got the bit model, so if I run this, I want to. I, I want to run this so bad. No module name tensor. Okay, tensor flow. Tensor flow. Okay. Let's run this. I'm. I, I want to run this so badly. I want to see uh, tensor line one. Tens. Okay, tensor flow. Okay. I want to see how good it will perform before trying first so it should okay get in the data which hopefully hopefully will be very quick to do that and i see that this could be very useful for me because writing this uh, code can usually uh take a while so it does ha has a bias towards certain elements. I think if I did specify um, some of the details, such as what kind of model I want to uh, create and specify parameters and stuff like that, it should it should um, remove some of this stuff that goes with it. But at the same time, it's very interesting to see this happen in real time. Um, it doesn't take like a week to compute the, uh, the, the code that I run, I run, uh, right. And it, it should, it, and it should work. So if the, if this does work, uh, I would say that it's pretty interesting. Okay. We, okay. We do have a problem with the shape, which just do this it didn't recognize the shape of the images should do okay so let's guess you see yay it's running <laughs> so we did it guys we created a model using uh, github copilot i hope you guys like it um and i'm gonna see you guys uh in the next video i'm probably gonna bring another video using this or using other uh, things as well. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.